Welcome back Team Favorite, back again with another video, and today I want to come on here and talk about this incident that happened in Washington D.C. in the DMV. Danny Starr, I'm pretty sure everybody already heard about this story, but I just wanted to come on here and do this video because I really, really got mad when I heard this story. This one, it really got under my skin, so I'm about to try to do this video and try to keep it PG without using foul language because all this story made me so math if y'all don't know what happened what happened was uh this this radio station in uh Wash in washington dc like i said w or is 93.9 wkys the fam there's it's two guys and a girl kind of like the breakfast club i watch the breakfast club on revolt tv like every day so i'm familiar with them however i'm not familiar with the fam at all um apparently it's danny starred is the girl and then it's this guy, um, DJ Silva, I think it's his name. I followed him on Instagram because I wanted to see his apology because I heard that he apologized for this. Let me make sure that's his name, though. Oh, yeah, DJ Quicksilver, yeah. So Danny and her husband have two daughters, two very young daughters, by the way. And their nanny quit out of nowhere, and they needed a new one. So Danny went on Instagram and posted this post saying how you know telling the situation and saying how she was looking for a new nanny looking to hire a new nanny and you know basically she wanted people to dm her I, I assume she wanted people to dm her basically applying to be her new nanny so once she put that on instagram danny was getting a lot of dms about you know people applying she put something on instagram so of course a lot of people who are you know nannies or babysitters were going to reach out to her but one of the people who reached out was this Instagram model who basically said, I'm available. I can take the job. I'm ready to work. You know, she's a nanny apparently, but she's also an Instagram model. That comes up later in the story as well. Now, Danny did not reply to the woman, but on the show the next day, she told the guys, well, she didn't really tell the guys, but, you know, they're on the radio, on the air. She talked about it. That's what the DJs do. They talk about, like, what's going on in their life sometimes. So she talked about how the the situation, she said, yeah, this Instagram model hit me up on, you know, on uh, Instagram. And, like, I'm not, you know, going to hire her. She's too pretty. She's a whole model. Why would I want her in my house around my kids and my husband? That's what she said on her show, on her talk show, that she's, goes to work and does every day that she gets paid to do give her opinion now mind you 93.9 wkys is well, it's called the fam in the morning at least um, unless i'm pronouncing it wrong so i'm assuming they're friends like they co-host so they i would think they would have a bond but this next part is about to trip y'all out just like it tripped me out so these two clowns the two guy djs they decided to invite this Instagram model in particular that DM'd Danny on Instagram to the show. They brought her in for an interview. Danny did not know that this was going on. I'm going to let y'all listen to the audio, a little bit of the audio that I found online of what happened. This was a complete ambush by her so-called friends, her so-called co-host. So sad. So sad. No, it really is. And then you hit up our producer, Sh it's Sherm, and said, you know what, oh, can I please come okay, on the show okay. and, and speak mm -hmm. my piece? Um, let's start by saying, what exactly do you want to say? Let's start there. Um, so first of all, I, I mean, so I hit her up because I really needed a job. Again, I'm a model. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a singer. I'm an actress. You know, I worked my way up to this. Like, this isn't something that happened overnight. So, you know, like I said, my grandmother, you know, I watched my grandmother struggle. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Trying to take care of kids and, you know, things like that. And I raised a lot of my nieces and my nephews. And, mm -hmm. you know, so when she sent the post, I'm like, well, you need help. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that I can do. Like, so let me help you. Mm -hmm. So when I reached out to her, I'm just like, you know, what's up? Like, you know, this, these are my credentials. You know, I've been doing this for a few years. Gotcha. And it was just like, no, I'm not letting a pretty woman into my house. Like, 
well, well, just be well, 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 to be clear, I did not even respond to the post. So mm -hmm. let's be clear. But you um, heard the show on Tuesday. That's great. Yeah. I heard the shade. And, okay. Oh, and, well, here, so, yeah. so here's the thing. Um, you are very beautiful. You don't have to clap and you, your hands. No, I, you don't, you, uh, you don't get to tell speak. me what I get to do today. The two of y'all can kiss my ass. Whoa. 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 Kiss my ass. You the two of y'all have no idea. Sweetheart, I'm not going to make this about you. Okay. Okay. You're not going to strip this on us because it is about her. You can be quiet for a second. Speak to her. Because I'm talking. Go ahead. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make this about you, baby okay. girl, because this is not. But what I do with my household and mm -hmm. what I choose to do with my household is nobody's concern. Right. And what I choose to bring up to my co-host and to the world, I did not use your name. I did but not it do is anything. because you put it out there. So you now that you put it out there, we have to address and, it. And just right? to be clear, I never, res I never said it was you and I never responded to you. So okay. your ego, your ego made you think that you were the only pretty girl that slid in my DMs, sweetheart. No, it's not just my ego. Let you know what I'm saying? And even if, even if I'm not the only pretty girl, let me state on National Woman's Day Tell that her. I will speak up for all the pretty girls Tell that step in your you DMs up. because you feel like, no, you're not going to hire a pretty girl because of your insecurities. Huh? So let's get that straight See, this, this morning. This is what I'm talking about. This I'm not, no. I'm not call a spade a spade. Wow. You be calling a spade a spade. your co-host mm -hmm. you do not do that because okay. one thing i am not insecure okay? okay i have been cheated on i have been very open and vocal about my stuff gotcha. but i get to decide what happens in my household okay right. my daddy slept with a babysitter so i know my situation you're beautiful and that's great you can be your model singing ass do all that stuff but you are not i get to pick who is around my children and who is around my man and no you will not be right. I'm and, I'm, and that. that's understandable I'm but the comments that. that you made, the comments that I made was were, disrespectful not, no they weren't i said you're okay. beautiful and you appear to be smart that is complimenting you I, okay. Okay. Yes. no what? i said but and i don't want you in my household i get to decide what happens why? in my okay, household so why, why don't you want me why? there is the real I question don't, i don't have to answer to you you did man okay you okay you did man 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 you better stop wait, waving your hand like that because all of y'all, this is a setup and y'all ain't Manny, nothing. You fuck your hand and swear on the radio. You want to be lucky, I can't swear, swear on the radio because y'all ain't nothing in all my life. I will be, this will be my last day of work with you mm. ambushing mm. that mm. negative ass. Ooh, now, that, hold on, so let now, so now yeah, let, let me get this right. Let me get this right. I, I allowed you to talk. I've been quiet for now you five minutes. You allowed me to be set I'll up. Be yeah, you I'll allowed me to be set up, Quicksilver. So now, with that being said, this young lady, because now you're making this about quick you're making this about her. Like, this ain't about her. No, this ain't about her. This is. This is. I allowed you to talk, Danny. But you allowed me to talk. Thank not, you for allowing not, me to now, talk. Now you've been, it's you. not about a sexist. Thank you, Quicksilver. Okay, now, now she's trying to be sarcastic. No, That's now, now I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Because in conversations, you converse by going back and forth. If Danny only talks, it's no longer a conversation. It's now Danny being talk diplomatic and being diplomatic. And now you're being, no. Danny, you're allowed to speak. Now, Quicksilver in Five Nights and the young lady who's here, she's allowed to speak. Who's hurt? Well. She's genuinely right. hurt. So she's not hurt. No, I really am. And I feel some mm -hmm. type of way because yes. it's not just about me. Like I said, I'm going to, I'm trying to be the voice for all the pretty chicks, like I said, that stepped in your DMs. Like, I just think you're jealous, like for real. Of what? 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 what do you mean? What? What, what, what do you mean? What am I jealous of? Because like, you're pretty too and you're hitting on another no, pretty young woman. That's disrespectful. Young woman. And you're I'm jealous. I'm disrespectful. Y'all going to let a woman come in here talking about I'm insecure and I'm jealous? No. Listen, because you're no. okay. No, I'm okay. not gonna listen to such a But, you, but you, you had you had the opportunity when she wasn't here. Are you out your damn mind? Are you out your damn mind? When she wasn't here to defend herself, yes, you wanted the smoke. And simply, let her be a young boy. You had that that no same smoke. energy, right? Now that I'm here, I hate you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out. We all can't talk at the same time. And it's not. No, Danny, you be quiet for thirty seconds. Let me allow you talk. No, so at this point. The young, lady, the young lady simply said this, and this is what we say on the air, when all the call, I'm going to make this very clear, this is not quick and five ambush and dandy, this yeah, is to okay. all the callers, okay. so let me say this again so I can make sure I'm verbatim, this is not just about Danny, so Danny can't say again, quick still, it's about Danny, listen, this is not just about Danny Star, I know it's Danny Star, hold on, she wants to make it about Danny Star, the conversation is more about discrimination. Why would we allow us as a people? Because men Why? as well, hold on. Men as well, Why? listen, men as well were calling and saying, 
You should not hire her simply because simply. she's pretty. And now, if you dangle a steak, as the as the metaphor that Dan used, yeah. you dangle a steak around a lion, they might eat it. Guess what? What? How many of the pretty girls did not get a job simply because somebody said, you know what? Exactly. I'm not going to hire you. Exactly. I let you talk. Oh, I'm not going to hire this pretty female yeah. simply because she's pretty. But then somebody will say, pretty girls have all these privileges. They all imagine to get jobs. But she's saying, I could not get a job oh, it's simply because, not right. because I'm it's under right. five. But you giving them that check because I'm pretty, and because I'm pretty, Listen, you're saying now you're being, not going to give me a, a shot. Right. Being a pretty girl mm. walking to an office building, cool. Being a pretty girl walking into any establishment and organization, cool. I don't have to allow anyone in my home who I do not want in my home. And this is That's not just about period. your home. This is about discrimination. I have to say, when I heard that audio, oh my god, I wanted to reach through the computer and literally slap all three of them. That was that was a complete. If I was Danny's husband, if I was Danny Star's husband. I would, she already quit, she quit live on the air while all that was going on. So if I was Danny's husband, I would have probably, well, never mind. I probably wouldn't really do this, but in my head, I would have went up to the studio and probably slapped all three of them. The two man DJs and the, the model, the little Instagram model, whoever she is. Because they arguments did not make any sense what they were saying. Danny... I salute her so much. I felt so bad when I heard about this story and that she actually quit. Because those two should have been fired and and Danny should have got new calls. Now, obviously not for real because Danny, she's a good lady and stuff. She put on Instagram like saying that these two aren't bad guys. I've worked with them for all this time. They made a bad decision, all this unbelievable unbelievable i was just so mad when i heard this audio i was i couldn't believe it but i'm gonna go back and let me tell why i disagree with what they did first of all if they're a team if they're all supposed to be together all friends i know for a fact i got two different groups of friends i got a three-person group of friends over here and a three-person group of friends over here neither one of my group of friends would do that to me where was they loyalty at where was their loyalty at to do this to her? Why didn't they let her know that the model was coming on the show, first of all? Why didn't you say one of the people that DM'd you is coming on the show today? How do you feel about that? I don't understand how these two could sit up with this woman and talk about their co-host. Don't y'all work with this lady for like, I don't know how long they worked together. I'm not, like I said, I'm not familiar with the, um radio station but like it's just unbelievable and the guy dj quicksilver his wife called up there later on and she talked because they sat with the girl for another hour after uh danny quit even more unbelievable that after danny quit they sat with the instagram out and kept talking about this situation and pretty much bashing danny they said stuff like how insecure they were talking about how insecure she was and how why she quit because she was insecure how she wouldn't mo uh hire the model because she was insecure and uh the girl was the model was talking about how this happens to her all the time how people like to think that because you're pretty you have it easier but really when you're pretty you have it harder that's where i couldn't forgive them too if i was her she's a good lady she's better than me because i couldn't do it but anyway quicksilver's wife caught up there and she said that that was wrong and she told him about herself i don't have video of that so i can't like let y'all listen to it but y'all can look at like maybe y'all can find it online i don't know but basically she said to him she said would you mind if I had um, Trey songs in our house, and he was like, no, and that's my whole thing. You got to look at things from both sides, because I wouldn't want my girl, my wife, to have Trey songs as the uh, nanny. I wouldn't want my child to be watched by no model, no Instagram model, no model, period. What's the point in you being a nanny if you're a model? Like, those two don't go hand in hand. I don't see how that works. To be, and then, okay. I'm all over the place with this, but Danny did a Facebook live where she explained. Let me let me actually let y'all listen to some of it. Trying to regroup myself and figure out how best to navigate this. So I want to give my side of the story not feeling ambushed. So last week I my nanny quit unexpectedly. She had some family issues that happened and 
I was empathetic to the situation, but also still need somebody to take care of my kids. I had a conversation with my person, um, and we talked about like what we were looking for, whatever. Bunch of people. Whew, y'all, I'm, I'm heated, so y'all gonna give me a second, okay? So um, a bunch of people applied. They sent a whole bunch of different stuff, and somebody who slid in my DMs was a young lady. She was absolutely beautiful, and um, I don't know what, you know, smart, whatever. I don't know any of that. All I could see was, like, how she looked. And she just said, like, hey, I'm available, and I can watch your kids. So I want to clear up a few things. The, she came in today unexpectedly. I did not know that she was coming in. That's where my issue lies because as a member of a show who is equal parts, I have been on a show where the show was the man's name, right? So like, it's obvious you're not equal. Um, multiple times I've been on a show where it was the so-and-so show or the so-and-so show. It was never like um, the fam in the morning. We are a team. We are a group. You know, we're equal parts on this morning show. And, um, you know, we do show prep every night, every morning, and we talk about everything that is going to come up. So, obviously, to my surprise this morning, when they just bring on homegirl, mind you, I never even responded to her direct message, okay? So, they took it upon themselves to reach out to her and let her know it was her. Um, I also don't feel bad. As a, as a feminist, as somebody who is about women equality, I don't feel bad for not allowing someone in my house who I don't want in my house. She's a very beautiful girl. Yes, I have been cheated on. For all of y'all who are screaming, she was cheated on, it's her past. Right, don't you learn from your past, okay? So first things first, my father cheated with the babysitter, okay? I have a whole brother out there who the babysitter had, who I'm pretty sure is my brother, my actual blood brother. So there's that. Second, my husband cheated. I don't think that makes you insecure. I think that can make you proactive, okay? So do I trust my person? Absolutely. Absolutely, I trust my person. I think he's the dopest dude I've ever dealt with. But we as a couple sat down and we talked about what we wanted. I asked him if a Manny was a possibility. He said, absolutely not. So if he gets to choose that we can't have a Manny, and there were some man applications, how come I can say, listen, I don't want her in my house because I just don't want to have, you know, every single day. It's different if we work at a daycare center and she's showing up. This is my house. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I can stand next to Halle Berry and still feel confident. I love my spirit so I come to work with beanies on and some sweatpants like I'm comfortable in myself so all that insecure stuff everybody's talking cool whatever everybody has insecurities but what I'm not gonna do is come to my place of work which actually is my safe haven okay my I doubt myself as a mom I doubted myself as a wife. I doubt myself as a partner sometimes. I doubt myself as a friend. I do not doubt myself as somebody who busts her ass on the radio. I've been doing this for like 15 years. I know I'm good at it. I know why I'm here. So for me, it's just like, um, I just don't want to be ambushed at work. So at the end of the day, like, you have to have respect for the people you work with and the people who you work with have to respect you. And I don't feel bad about not wanting somebody in my house. And it's okay um, for anybody to feel how they want to feel, but to allow this girl to come in here talking about you're insecure and you don't want that. Like, no, baby girl, I just don't want you in my house. And that's not about insecurities. Sometimes it's about being proactive, okay? Um, I don't want to allow a situation to even arise. Like they say, don't put yourself in a situation where something might not turn out the way that you want to. And I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, I feel bad for her, but, like, she can get another job. It's just one nanny house. If Somebody else might hire her, but I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do, and neither do you, and neither does she. And for people to be like that, like, no. And for them to allow her to stay on the radio after I left and to keep talking about me and my insecurities, like, that's some bullshit. That's crazy. It's, re it's disrespectful. I'm so furious because, like, these this is the fam in the morning. These are my people, and... To allow some girl to come in here, not, not even that, to reach out to some girl that I didn't even reach out to, like, that's crazy. So, at the end of the day, like, I know my worth, and it's not worth it. It is not worth it to me to work with people who want to ambush me. It is not worth it to me to allow them to allow her to come in here and start talking all this craziness like homegirl it's not that serious i didn't want you in my house i think i'm a baddie so it's not about her just being a pretty girl it's about how i want to run my household and i think that's okay like i said yes we all have insecurities but it really isn't about being insecure it's about being proactive like i'm not doing that so you can call me insecure if you want to 
You can say you have mental health issues. Uh, newsflash, I talk about it all the time. I'm an advocate for mental health. But you know what? I protect my mental. I protect my energy. And I'm not bringing somebody in my house that I don't want to. And off of one Instagram message, I don't have to choose anybody. So um, they can kiss my ass for the day. And whoever else got a problem with my decisions of my household and my life, I'm sorry. Unless you live my life and you walk in these shoes, there's like, I, I really don't. I don't care. Like, this is crazy. Um, I'm a proactive person. I don't want to live through what I lived through before. My ex-husband worked in clubs. He was a DJ. He was around girls all the time. Like, why would I invite that into my household? No, thank you. I'm smarter. I'm smarter than that. So it is what it is. Like, at the end of the day, we as women have to support each other. And I wish her the best. I do. She is a singer. She said, like, three different things. She got three whole careers. She'll be just fine. But nannying Danny's kids is not going to be one of them. And I will never apologize for that. And them ambushing me was some bullshit. Some certified Class A Secret Service FBI bullshit. And I'm not going. So be mad if you want to. Support me if you want to. Don't support me if you want to. It's your choice. Just like it's my choice who I let in my house. I agree with Danny so much. I don't understand... First of all, I, I actually do disagree with Danny on how she went about trying to find a nanny. I actually do disagree with that. But why in the world, why in the world would she hire an Instagram model, an Instagram model to watch her kids? She got the right to, to hire whoever she wants. She the boss. If it's her, if she's looking for a nanny, I mean, they're coming to her house. She's the boss. She can hire whoever she wants. She said her and her husband was looking for the nanny. So, like, the, there was man uh, options available, and the man said he doesn't want no man to watch the daughters, which I agree with. Well, I mean, like, I, I wouldn't want, you know, that. But I know, like, there's nothing wrong with a man as a nanny, but like, I wouldn't want it like a with my two daughters if they were that young so i agree with him and you know she gets to pick you know what she wants to filter how she wants to filter out the rest he doesn't want a man so that's taken all the way out and she doesn't want you know whatever she doesn't want she can discriminate in any way she want if she wanted to except you know with race or um it's some other stuff that you can't discriminate with i know but I want to know, does the model actually go to every single job that she applies to? If she doesn't get the job, does she go to each one of the bosses and just, like, snap on them like she did? Well, try to snap on her like she did Danny. You know, it's her decision. She can pick whoever she wants. So for them to actually go out of their way to find this girl and bring her, that was just dead wrong. And the girl, like I said, she made no sense because um, you're trying to get a job from this lady but yet you came up here and helped two guys ambush her three on one live on the air that was just sad i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it i really i feel so bad that she had to lose her job over this she quit herself but if i was her you know if two people ambushed me like that like i wouldn't want to continue working with them either and she stayed professional throughout the whole broadcast so hopefully she won't have problems finding another job this was it was hard to listen to and it was just frustrating because you just wanted to be there to just tell all three of them about this so because and i think danny did a good job though it's just that they were just so ignorant and thinking that they points made sense when it didn't you it's not about being insecure it's about just like uh, it just it's hard to explain, but it just don't make sense what they were doing at all. And then, like, I don't know. Where is their loyalty? Y'all stayed with this woman after y'all co-host. Y'all fam quit live on the air. And y'all sat there and stayed talking about her with basically the person that, I don't want to say she caused all this, but I don't know. It's just, it was unfortunate. I don't know where this, um, actually, where did this go? Like, is Danny back employed? Because she, she said that they not bad guys and stuff. So maybe, like, I don't know. But 
Yeah, this is this is very unfortunate. I agree with every single thing Danny said in her Facebook live. I disagree with every single thing that the model said and that the two other DJs said. I agree with what the DJ's wife said because you know us as husband, we wouldn't want you know a a man. Uh, think about it. Most husbands don't even want a, a female to have a man fitness instructor instructor let alone a man that's gonna come to your house to our house and you know be around our wives and kids so of course you know danny doesn't want this woman around her husband and kids so yeah all three of them were just ignorant and i don't know what possessed them to do this but um be sure to leave y'all comments on this video please and like this video share this video and i'll catch y'all later